Hello boys and girls. Oh wow, it is so wonderful to be um, chatting to you again and communicating with you. I really have missed you and I miss worshipping and praising with you, but I know that you're safe and I know that you are protected, so I'm happy about that. I am praying for you and I haven't forgotten about you. You are actually on top of my mind and I will continue to pray for you. It is so awesome to um, prepare this word and this lesson to share with you. Um, before I share this word with you, I just want w was going down memory lane with the songs that we used to sing and this song reminded me about you. Have a listen quickly. I'm sure it's gonna bring back fond memories too. Shake, shake, you stop, shake it till you drop, shake, shake, you stop, don't do the belly flop. It's fun when we shake, when we dance, let's tidy and sing. Tidy up, rumba, tidy up, the room now. Come on, boys and girls, let's do this thing. Oh, wow, wasn't that fantastic? I um, just love singing that song and cleaning up with you and enjoying our time together. I want to remind you about the theme that we left off with, and that was there is power in prayer. Boys and girls, you would remember that I've said it over and over that God, th there's miracles in praying. And uh, when you pray, God releases from heaven and it comes down to you. So indeed, there is power in prayer. But today, I want to focus on God's love. Now, I'm very excited about that because God's love means that I am loved by a king. Uh, remember, he is the king, he is the almighty God, and our father is sitting on the throne. Now, can you imagine, oh my word, he is royal, and if he loves me and he loves you, that makes us so, so special. I want to share something from the Bible with you, and it's from the book of Romans. So turn with me to the book of Romans. Do you have your Bible with you? Aha, if you don't have your Bible with you, go get it quickly. I'll wait for you a few seconds. I'm sure you have your Bible with you now. Okay, boys and girls, let's read Romans chapter 5, verse 5. And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us, because he has given us the Holy Spirit, to fill our hearts with his love. Wow. God has given us the Holy Spirit that fills our heart with his love. How amazing is that? And if I had to think about it, I would think about, whoa, so much of love just poured into my heart. And he's given us the Holy Spirit so that we could feel that. Um, it's sometimes a little bit difficult to try and understand what it says here, but it, at, the, at the end it says, He's given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with His love. I'm going to try and demonstrate a little bit later how God's love fills our hearts. And remember, if God's love fills our hearts, we are able to love at a greater level. We are able to love in a very unselfish way, we are able to give so much of ourselves because God is a generous God. I quickly also want to share with you a verse from the Bible and it is Psalms 30, um, it's actually Psalms 30, 136. So if you turn with me to Psalms 136, it says, Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to God, to the God of gods. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords. His faithful love endures forever. In Psalm 136, there are 26 verses. And after every verse, the psalmist has said, His faithful love endures forever. That means forever and ever and ever and ever. And if God's love Endures. What does endure mean? Endure means that it will be there forever. So the Bible promises us that God's love will fill our hearts. Now let's have a look at it uh, in, a, in, in a way that I can best describe it. 
I'm going to try and explain this to you. So please use your imagination. And as I'm showing you the heart and I'm showing you how God's love pours into our hearts, use your imagination and think about all the good things that we can do when God's love fills our hearts. Okay, boys and girls. So let's try and demonstrate what love is. Imagine that this is you and me or any of your friends. This is our heart. So I'm just going to put it in there. This is our heart. And we're going to imagine that this is God's love. There's lots of God's love in here. So we're going to, like the Bible says, the Holy, that He has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with His love. So now we're going to try and fill our hearts with God's love. Mm, it's filling up quite nicely and it's filling our hearts and then it covers up oh wow it's covered a lot of our heart there's lots of love in there and it's swiveling around um, and I just move this so I can show you what God's heart does when it's poured into our heart the love of God poured into our heart and if we just imagine this is us or our friends or anybody else Mm, this white cloth is turning red. Um, let's just dip it a little bit more. Wow, it's going redder. Now there's a little bit of white spaces left. Let's, uh, let's just pour all of God's love in here. Let's pour it. Because there's so much of love that God has for us. He can give us as much as we want. Mm, wow, that's a lot of love. Now just dip, dip this in. Wow, look at this. The entire white cloth is gone almost red and oh my word it's in my fingers it's dripping that's what's God's love he's got so much of love for us boys and girls and that once God's love fills our heart and our heart is so full of love we are able to project the love that God has filled in our heart to other people so as if you can just remember this and imagine God pouring His love via the Holy Spirit into our hearts and then we are just soaked and drenched with His love, we will always be able to love others. Oh wow, wasn't that amazing? I hope I helped you understand how, how God's love fills our heart. And before I say goodbye, let's pray quickly. Come pray with me. Father God, in Jesus' awesome name, I come before you. I thank you, my God, that you are God of love. I thank you, Father, that you have showed us the biggest example of love when Jesus died and sac was sacrificed on that cross for us, my God. Thank you for that amazing love. Thank you that is love that cannot be compared, Father God. I pray, Father, for every child and every family listening to this. I pray that you will fill our hearts with the love of God, that we will be full to capacity, that we will be able to love others around us, my God, and have compassion for them, Father. And we will love like you want us to, Father God. Father, we praise you. We honor you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the time together. And we thank you, my God, that your love has so much of power, Father God. In Jesus' name, we praise you and we honor you. Amen. It was fantastic being with you today. And I pray that you will continue to be safe and look after yourselves. No, I miss you lots and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Why don't you?
Good morning, everybody. We trust that you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And also hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time that we upload a new video. We'd also love to connect with you. So please comment down below. Have a wonderful day. Bye.